Welcome back to The Function. This week in The Function, we're going to find out what happens when some Pharisees challenge Jesus over a coin. And we're also going to have, as usual, some great music from The Function house band. So sit back and let's get ready for The Function. The stone that the builder refused shall always be the head cornerstone. Sing it, brother. The stone that the builder refused will always be the head cornerstone. things that we need to be concerned with in our Christian practice is making sure that we give back to God the things that are actually God's, the things that he actually desires and is actually concerned about. Today in our text from Matthew 22, 15 through 22, we're going to look at the story of the Pharisees who came to Jesus, um, you know, kind of with a question, trying to entrap him about money and taxes. And so they gave him this coin and they said, you know, is it right to pay taxes to Caesar? They're trying to trap him into you know, being unfaithful either way to Caesar or to God. And Jesus' response is kind of interesting. He holds the coin up to them and he looks at it and he says, whose face is on this coin? And they say, well, it's Caesar's. Well, it's not God's face. It's, we don't really try to make graven images of God, right? And then they, he says, well, whose name is on this coin? And they're like, well, it's Caesar's. And he goes, well, it's not God's name, so... Uh, Whose concern is this coin? Well, it's Caesar's coin. So he says, well, it's does it's not God's or his people. So, you know, if it belongs to Caesar, give it back to Caesar. And we get that line, give unto God what that which is God's, right? Well, that's an important question for us, um, leads to an important question for us as people of the faith, as we try to live out our lives as Christians. What is God's? Well, there's a good answer to that in the scriptures, and it's probably the basis for everything else that we do. But the answer is, to quote an old hymn, to God be the glory. 
Um, Psalm 96 tells us that our duty is to ascribe to God all the glory. And I'm going to read for you Psalm 96, uh, verses 1 through 9 and then 10 through 13. Excuse me as I look away a little bit. Psalm 96 starts by saying, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The, word, the world is firmly established and it shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that is in it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth, who will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. So our job is to ascribe glory to God. Um, you know, everything else is just an idol. Like it says, all the other gods, including Caesar, right, um, are just an idol. And that was actually a big problem for them at that time and for the early church, because Caesar like most powerful people, like to be treated like a god. So our job is to ascribe glory to the Lord. Um, our concern is not with the petty things of this world because we're not like some silly coin, you know, stamped with the image of a false god. Uh, our nature is to extol the Lord our God and worship him uh, for the Lord our God is holy. That's our job. You know, our job is not to be worried about every little false idol that comes around and to be focused on that and give up all our time and all our glory to that. And that can be a hard thing because sometimes, um, even in the practice of our faith, we see things that harmonize with our faith, or at least we think they do, and we're ready and willing to lift them up. And sometimes we make the mistake of lifting them up above God. But that's not our job. Our job is to give the glory to God. God alone is worthy of that glory, as the psalmist tells us. Um, you know, we're stamped with the image of God. We're not stamped, like I said, with the image of some little false idol. We were created in the image of God. We were minted in Christ's name to be, like Moses said of Israel, to be a distinct people among the nations. So I guess a good foundation for your Christian practice is to decide whether or not you're giving it up to God. Are you giving the glory to God? Or are you letting the image of some false idol be stamped on your soul? No 
Thanks again for joining us today for another episode of The Function. Really hope you enjoyed it, and we really hope you come back and join us again next week. I want you to think as you walk away from this, are you giving it up to God? Are you focusing on letting that divine image be the thing that's stamped and minted on you? Are you a coin of God's realm? Are you the person that goes forth and when people see you, they see something of value because they see someone who loves God and they see God in you? So as you go out today, make sure you're giving it up to God. We'll see you later. Bye. Boom, 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 boom.